everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share to your friends and people that you like, people that you don't like. Trust me bro, share Ivorian Spice because sharing as Ivorian Spice is caring. Boom, get to click it. And today guys is Manchester United 1, Watford 0. Manchester United threw to the FA Cup fourth round after beating Watford in the third round. 1-0, a narrow win, a narrow win for us today, guys. Pretty much nothing to talk about in this match. Pretty much a plain Jane match, you know, because at the end of the day, Scott McTominay, Scott McMayo, plain Jane scored. So today was a plain Jane match with nothing to talk about. No, no body, no, no upper body, just the face we can talk about because 1-0 was just looking pretty today for us. You get me? Just like when you have a plain Jane, all she has is a pretty face. But no, no back, no tits, just nothing, nothing, just... Plain Jane. So yes, guys, we are through. I'm pleased with that. Moving on to the fourth round of the FA Cup. But despite the performance being a bit lackluster, a bit boring at times, you know, we went through. So we have to be pleased that we've gone through to the fourth round. Let's just wait until, what, was it Monday to see who we'll be playing for the fourth round? I'm, I'm, I'm probably thinking that we'll probably play another, probably like a lower league team, just below the Premier League. It would be good for us. And then again, I remember Manchester United always drawing Premier League teams in the FA Cup until we get to the finals. So I remember those times, those Sir Alex Ferguson times when, you know, when the system was against us, you know, the system was rigged, you know. They wanted us to fail. No one wanted us to pass and succeed, you know. But they will always throw a Premier League side. It always starts with Aston Villa, blah, blah, blah. Next round, we get like Fulham. Then we get like Everton. It gets to even peak in the next round. But I'm hoping that we draw a lower team, you know. It's about time we get what we deserve. But let's get straight into that match, guys. Of course, the first early minutes of that match, Scott McMayo, Scott McSauce, my guy, Captain McMayo, scored today. He scored at wearing the captain armband, which I always thought to myself, Seeing McTominay play in the previous games, I always and his ability to show a bit of leadership and obviously be able to command and tell players what to do. I've seen that before. I've seen in the previous season. Whether he can command players and, and make sure that they listen to them, but I always thought to myself, Scott McSaws will always be a captain one of these days. He will one day captain Manchester United because I can see it in him. You know, I can see it in him. I just can't see it in Harry Beckenbauer, Harry Maguire, Harry, whatever you call him. Harry fake 80 million defenders, you know, whatever you want to call him. I, I, I don't see it in him. I see it in Bruno. I see it in, a little bit in Pogba. I see it in, in, I definitely see it in um, McTominay as well. You know, to Santa Bay, I see the leadership in him. But yes. Playing Jane, Max so Spicy McMayo, scored a lovely header with a lovely cross from the set-piece corner by Alex Tellers. An assist from Alex Tellers, you know. Alex Tellers today was just simply brilliant on, on, on the left wing, you know. Just bombing up and down, attacking it, getting involved, you know, technically great. Delivering some excellent, superb crosses into the eight-yard box, but no one to head it in, you know. No one to really defend it in and test that goalkeeper of Watford. But apart from that, I was pleased that we was 1-0 up. It was a very good start from us. It looked like it was um, would be a game where you think, how many? But no, it wasn't. After 15 to 20 minutes, Watford started to get into the game. And I was thinking, whoa! Hey, Watford! Chill, bro! We want to go through today. Not you, man. Chill, bruv! They had men sitting in the corner, vexed like, oh, you better not score, you know. You better not score. Otherwise, man's coming down to Manny right now. Yeah, man. I had my first call, my hands to my heart thinking, nah, man. What's going on? Like, Manchester United not heavily involved in the latter stage of that first half, you know? You know, we expect us to dominate that team, Watford, the championship team that lay six at the moment. But it wasn't like that. Watford was just having opportunities, you know, getting forward, getting more of the ball. And I was thinking, this is what Oli has taught us, you know? Against lower teams, the little against small boys, small boys, small pickings. We can't even dominate possession like that, or just dominate play. Seriously, guys, this is us, you know. Against small boys, we can't do it. But apart from that, in the second half, you know what? In that second half, you know how your woman was just pestering you, be like, "Babes, like, let's 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 get into bed. Come here, babes," and you'd be like, "No, babes, man, you're not playing." That 45 minutes, you could have been like, yo, babes, you know that thing that you wanted to do to me 45 minutes earlier on? 
Yo, you know what? You must just do that to me right now, you know? Man, man's ready. This match, nothing's happening. You could have had a nice 45 minutes fun with your woman. Come back. Manchester United have not scored, bro. I'm telling you that right now. You could have went a couple of rounds, you know? Uh, some of us, some of us, man, them are like the 45 minutes. That's one round for us, bro. But some of you, man, them can do two rounds in that 45 minutes because obviously, you know, you come out quick, innit? But yeah, man. But yeah, man. Except for that, that second half was just fully dead, man. I'm telling you, man. I, 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 I sat there. I sat there thinking, chase, really? What? No more goals? What? You just shut down? Like, I'm not supposed to enjoy this. But yeah, again, full time. Manchester United going through one 0 You know, we move, guys. United Holics, we move, you know, at the end of the day. We move to the next round. You know, all you wanted was to win anyway to go through to the next round because, of course, another opportunity to win a trophy. Whether Wally can do this. Sorry, I meant Oli. Whether Oli can do this, I don't know. Like, the match against Man City said it all to me again. Four semi finals in a row, and we've happened to fail four times, you know. So, with Oli in charge, whether we can win this league. <laughs> Whether we can win this FA Cup, it's beyond me. It's above me. It's in God's hand. It's in hands of Jesus first, and then pass down, cascade it down to God. You know, you know, lift it up to God. You know, and God will be, be like, you know what? I've always spice. Man, I can't save you guys. You know, like I've I've had opportunities to t save you guys. You know what, you man, you be messing with the devil. You the red devils, and I can't save that. You change your name to Red Angels. Maybe I can save you guys from all of this madness. But I'm, 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 I'm honestly believing that our juju is gone. Our sacrifices that we've done many years ago is gone, bro. It is gone. All that blood is gone, fam. <laughs> you must think I'm crazy. But yeah, man, I'm, I, I, our juju's gone, bro. Ferguson came, finessed the juju, and that's it. Done, 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 done. This time we're having bad locks. We can't get good signings. We can't even get a director of football. We get tees, you know. We can't even get the manager that we want. The managers come close to us, but we get the manager that we don't want. Like, it's like the juju is just gone. Like, it's gone. My guys, overall, May United, May United Olix, the match was dead. But yeah, my man on the match today definitely has to be Scott McSauce, bruv. McMayo, spicy McMayo. Jeez, you know. You know that Perry Perry mail? That is you, Scott, bruv. Man rates you sometimes, you know. Only sometimes. Certain matches that you're not supposed to play. But McTommy today, Captain McMail, you know. Captain McSaw's done his thing, you know, scored a goal for us again. McMail always comes true sometimes, you know. Sometimes that mayonnaise does come through on the burger, you know, or the sandwich, you know, and it makes sense, you know. You'd be like, mm, today, you know, that mayonnaise on my sandwich made sense today. And that was McTominay today. He made sense today, bruv. He made sense of the things that he done. And that's the reason why I gave him my man in the match. Donkey of the match has to go to Daniel James. Bruh, Daniel James, I don't know what you was doing today again. Like Daniel James, you know, so, so for some reason today again, another another set that you come on to do your, you also called your nice DJ sets, you know? You come to DJ for us. And another game where you've disappointed us, you know, you've made all the guys on the dance floor pissed off thinking, Hey, this DJ is dead, you know. Hey, yo, shit. Hey, yo, DJ, come off, bro. Next, DJ. Bro, anything that you was mixing did not make sense. When it was time to pass, you would shoot. When it was time to shoot, you would pass, you know. Your mixing is just dead. Like, it's only a few times I've enjoyed the Daniel James mixing. But apart from that, today, what he was doing with his feet, what, whatever he was trying to mix did not make any sense. You know, the cables got disconnected. I don't know. Sometimes when Daniel James mixes, you know when it comes at the speaker, you can hear all that disgusting sound effects from the speakers, knowing that oh, there's something wrong. There's a technical fault, technical difficulty right now. James, you went through a technical difficulty today, bro. You definitely went through a lot of those today. A lot of games, I'm wondering, we let Angel Gomez go for this guy. We said, who, who, who's the decision? Ryan Giggs? Ryan Giggs should not allow us to actually, you know, make recommendations for signings. This guy slept with his brother's wife. His decision making is poor. From the time you sleep with your brother's wife, yeah, you're making wrong decisions in life, you know, and you should not be selecting players or recommending players from, for Manchester United. Daniel James is dead. Is dead, bro. I can't believe certain youngsters when they first saw Daniel James, they used to tell me that he's sick. You're sick. You are sick. Just because of YouTube clips, you're sick, fam. Manchester United Holics, we move. We move in silence as always, guys. You know, you know, Tuesday, 
we just play our match. Hopefully, we can beat Burnley, you know, and be top of the table by the time we play Liverpool, you know. You get me? Like, just like as 12th man says, you know, 21 and 21, 21 and 21. But I'm not going to get myself carried away. Trust me, I'm not going to get myself carried away, guys, you know. I'm definitely not going to get myself carried away. But, yeah, guys, it's been lovely. It's been special, you know. It's been This has been your match reaction for my and Spice, as always, you know. Always spicy, as always, guys. But, obviously, guys, remember, next week again, of course, match reaction for Tuesday against Bernie. Remember to catch that. Obviously, the catch-up next show is coming out probably on a Wednesday night or Thursday morning. You don't know. As always. Now remember guys, remember to follow the socials as well. Remember to follow me on Ivorian underscore Spice, you know, for my personal. And remember to follow the official Instagram account of Reggie United TV, which is Reggie United TV one baby. And remember Ivorian underscore Spice for that Twitter baby. And as always, remember guys. And as always, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share it to everyone, guys. Remember that and remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it Reggie United. Ivorian Spice is out.